Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little video for you today. It's how to add an automated color changing background to any of your Elementor sections. It's really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today. Don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put below the video or show you how to get. We're actually going to be using a bit of code from Animista today to do this. And I'll put this link below the video for anybody who wants to use this. We've actually done this before, coding it by hand. And this is the same thing, but we're just going to use this site to create a shortcut, do it really quickly. So let's get started. I've got this page open here in Elementor. And let's just get rid of everything we've got here and we'll start from scratch. Okay, obviously it's going to be a section, so you can put whatever you want on top of it. I'm just going to add a heading right here. I'll leave it just like that. I'm going to put it in the middle. We'll just style it up a little bit quickly. I'm going to make it white in color. And let's go to the advanced and we'll put a bit of a background color in. There we go. And I'll take the opacity down maybe to 50% or 60%, something like that. Great. I just want to push it down. So our background's got a bit of size. So let's give it a percentage on top. Let's say 20% top. Let's say 25%. And the same on the bottom. Great. Now we can go into our section. And I don't even need to do anything to that background of that section. I'm going to go over to Animista. I'm actually on the backgrounds right here. And I've gone for the color change. And you can have two times, three times, four times, five times. For fun, I just grab the five times there. Then you want to hit the little icon for the code right here. And that will give us the CSS code we need. You can copy the class names. Just hit the copy, it's copied it for us. And we'll go back. And what we need to do is put that in our custom CSS. Now I've got the pro version here. This will work just as well for the pro as the free version, but for the free version, you'll have to put this CSS elsewhere and I'll show you where. So I'm gonna paste my code that we just copied right in there. Now for anybody that's got the free version, Let's go back to our dashboard here. Go down to Appearance, Customize. That'll bring you to this page right here. At the bottom, you'll find additional CSS. For the free version, you can just paste your CSS right here and it'll act exactly the same way. For convenience today, so we can see what's going on, I've actually been doing this with the pro version in our custom CSS tab that's at the bottom of the advanced here. So I'm going to paste that in there. And we'll go back to Animista. And now we've got to copy the keyframes. The keyframes are the things that make it actually animate. And like I say, we've done this before doing it by hand. This is just a way of doing it a lot quicker. So let's paste it in here. And there it is. Now you'll notice that nothing's happened. It's because we've got to give this section, this class name up the top here, color change 5x to make it apply the keyframes to it. So let's copy that. I've copied that without the dot. It's just the class name, color change dash 5x. Still on our advanced tab. I'm going to drop down the advanced there and give it the CSS class name. There it is. And as soon as we do that, it starts animating those colors for us. And that's great. But you're going to probably want to put in your own colors and set the timing. So let's go back to our custom CSS. And don't forget, if you're using the free version, you'll be writing this into your theme customizer additional CSS panel here. OK, in our top bit right here, we've got the timing. It's taking eight seconds to complete these cycles right here. I want to slow mine down for a bit of drama. So I'm going to almost double it. I'm going to call mine 15. And they've done it for WebKit as well, as you can see at the top there, for compatibility with more browsers. So you want to do both. 
15 seconds in the web kit and 15 seconds in the regular and then you want to put your own colors in down below and again we've got keyframes for the web kit for compatibility and regular keyframes down here so you'll change colors on both let's grab the color of my logo up here I've got a little free chrome color picker I'm going to copy that and let's replace our first one there in both panels we'll do it in the web kit one there and the regular one just down below if you notice they're exactly the same hex code and let's get that light blue for the second one that's all I'll change but it'll just give you the idea of what, what you can do and I'm gonna pop that one in the second one and of course just paste that in there you can add anything that you want here images what have you over the top of this background changing color here because it's just a regular section and if you want to apply this to any of your other existing sections you just need to give them the class name of color change five times and it'll automatically add it if you've got a background image or something in there you want to take that away first because that may override this so let's update this and see what we've got and let's update our page for us and there it is very simple but that's a pretty eye-catching feature to have on your site if it's pulsating through the colors slowly like that it's going to grab people's attention so there you go guys i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful once again the site we've been using is animista and i will paste this url down below great site and they've got all kind of other things we'll be demonstrating some more of these in upcoming videos so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.